Hello Techies. In our previous session, we have learned how to work with create new data table variable action. By using create new data table action, we can create a new data table and we can store the data in rows and columns format. And also in our previous sessions, we have seen how to create a list by using create new list variable action. And also we have added few items to the list. Now in this session, we are going to learn how to retrieve a data table column into the list. Let me tell you a small scenario. Let me double click on the create new data table and then I'm going to click on edit. Now, if you observe, I'm having five columns and three rows over here. Now, as one of the column that we have the product name, I need to get all the items which are available in the particular column that is product name. I need to get it as a list or let assume if I'm having product code, the entire column, I need to get it at the list. How can we go ahead and do that? To add the data table column into the list, we are having one of the action that is retrieve data table column into the list. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. This action will convert the content of a particular data table column into the list. If you see the parameters over here, we need to specify the data table which we need to convert the data table column into the list. Over here, in our scenario, I'm going to use product data table which we have created. I'm going to select the variable as product data table. Now, I'm having a scenario over here that product name has to convert into list, right? I need to specify the column name or the index to convert the data into the list. Over here, I can give in the two scenarios. One is the index, another one column name. Let me start with the index. Now, as we have seen in our previous session, the column index will start from 0, 1, 2, and so on. All right. And also we have the column names over here. Now, the column index for the product name is 0. I'm going to give the index over here as 0 for the product name. And then the variables, if you see the variables, I'm going to store inside my variables produce that is column as list. Now I'm going to rename it as product list or product items list. And then I'm going to click on save. Now, whatever the data that we have in the product name in the product data table, we will get all the values in the list in by using retrieve data table column into the list by using column index. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And if you see, it has been retrieved the data table column into the list. We can see the flow variables as an output over here. Let me click on the product item list. Let's double click on that. Now, if you see, the variable value that is in the list of test values. I'm having the item with the column item over here. And there you can see I'm having Dell laptop, Realme and Sony headphones. These are the values which we have in the product name column in the product data table. All right. Now we'll see with the column name. Let me double click on the retrieve data table column into the list. And now I'm going to give product code. As a product code, we are having 001, 002, 003, and so on in the product data table, right? I'm going to store the same thing, but our variables, I'm going to make it as product code list. All right, let me click on save. Now to display the output, which we are getting from the retrieved data table column into the list, I'm going to use display message. I'm going to give the message box title over here as product code list. And after that, I'm going to display the message over here as product code list over here. And then I'm going to click on save. Now, once again, let's run the flow to see the output based on the column name. Flow execution started. 
there you can see I got the product code list as an output in the display message if you see over here in my the title is product code list and after that in my product data table I am having 001 002 and 003 all right I hope you understand how to work with retrieve data table column into the list action as part of this tutorial